University Kebangsaan Malaysia, also known as National University of Malaysia, is one of five research universities in country. This university was born from the aspiration of the nationalists to uphold the Malay language as a language of knowledge. IMEN, Institute Microengineering and Nanoelectronics, is one of the research centers of excellence in UKM. Do you know that IMEN UKM is the first MEMS Microelectromechanical System Research Center in Malaysia? This institute established in 2002 and also has been chosen as one of the Center of Excellence of Malaysia Nanotechnology. The director of IMEN is Professor Datuk Dr. Burhanuddin Yop Majlis, who is also a MEMS NEMS and Nano Electronics Group leader. Recently, we are uh, recognized by Ministry of Higher Education at Centre of Sinan, where we focus on uh, the application of MEMS in artificial kidney based on uh, our expertise on MEMS. Uh, vision for women um, since the establishment of this institute in 2002, we want to make Imen as a research centre uh, at the international standard, uh, international standard. So not only in the country but in in the world. So, so now, uh, after 15 years, I think I can say that we already achieved the goal to be the uh, research centre uh, at par with other research centre in the world. Pulse Laser Deposition PLD, is a physical vapor deposition PVD techniques where a high power pulse laser beam is focused inside a vacuum chamber to strike a target of the material that is to be deposited. This material is vaporized from the target in a plasma plump which deposits it as a thin film on a substrate such as a silicon wafer. This process can occur in ultra-high vacuum or in the presence of background gas. When the laser pulse is absorbed by the target, energy is first converted to electronic excitation and then into thermal, chemical and mechanical energy resulting in evaporation, ablation, plasma formation and even exfoliation. The ejected species expand into the surrounding vacuum in the form of a plump containing many energetic species including atoms, molecules, electrons, ion clusters, particulates and molten globule before depositing on the typically hot substrate. Actually, PLD is a kind of a process that used to synthesis thin films and these uh, nanowire structures. Um, it can be used for this um, superconducting material in heterostructures layers and um, the good thing is the, the PLD actually it can do very uniform layers and also uh, it transfer like 100% from the target to the subject in 100% uh, stoichiometry, very good in stoichiometry transfer. Laser and it fires through it is focused through the chamber, the vacuum chamber, which is this, and then the laser will fire on the target, and then the target, the target, the laser which is which is striking the target will be vaporized, and then it will be deposited on our substrate. So as you can see, the laser which is firing through this hole will be focused on the target this is the target and the target will be vaporized and form a plume and then it will deposit on the substrate you do a deposition of zinc oxide that instead of only one element like silicon or Go or whatever, and uh, zinc oxide got zinc and oxygen element inside. So these two material, we want to make sure when it transfer, it form only like 
zinc to oxygen ratio is one to one. So you need to do pulse laser deposition, that is BLD deposition, in order for the right stoichiometry to transfer from the target to the substrate. Not specific to uh, any uh, target material, but uh, compound material is nice. Compound, compound materials, we, you have dual material inside a single target, or you have a uh, tertiary material, three, three elements inside uh, this uh, single target, or four material inside a single target. You want to transfer the right stoichiometry, PLD is the best choice. Limitation of PLD is that the uniformity when you want to go very large size then probably the uniformity will drop. You, you will get not so uniformity at the edge of the sample. Collaboration with uh, very strong um, partner with uh, National Shelter University in Taiwan, where we have a co lab. We have a, a office and lab that we can share together in, in National Shelter University. So this collaboration uh, started the collaboration since 2005 until now. And with Japan, JAIS, JAIS, and um, Korea. Uh, Australia, Griffith University, and uh, United States. Now we have a collaboration with Harvard, Harvard University, and Indonesia National Science Institute, OLIPI.